Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am so excited. So I did purchase the Wicked Widow Lovesick palette and I'm so excited to be doing two looks with this palette today. Also, this palette will be featured in the Ice Cream Beauty Box for the month of February. So I'm excited to do even more looks later on with this palette. This palette does retail for $36, but I did use a discount code. I used Batty Bean and that saved me $3.60, bringing it down to $32.40. I did have to pay shipping, making it $7.90, making the total $40.30, which is a little pricey for such a tiny palette, I will say. And I am familiar with Wicked Widow's formula. I tried their Graveyard Smash palette. I love that palette. I have like a newfound love for that palette. The little short I made here on YouTube with that palette gained like 23k. Wicked Widow also is one of those brands that supports a lot of smaller creators and I really appreciate that. I think they've liked a look of mine that wasn't even it wasn't even I didn't use any part of their their line their brand until I received that graveyard smash palette from the ice cream beauty box. After I received that I tried their formula I fell in love. Everything performed so beautifully and I saw this palette and I was so excited. Now this palette is sold out but they are going to restock this palette. So this this palette does feature four mattes and four dual chrome slash multi chromes. I guess I'll figure out which ones are multi chromes and which ones are dual chromes as I use it. This collection also featured a lip trio. I did not purchase the lip trio and it also featured a really cute makeup bag which I also didn't purchase because I'm trying not to buy things. I don't like I saw the swatches on their site and the shimmers in here. They look gorgeous so each shade of this palette is named after a popular emo love song adding a fun and unique touch to the palette the palette's magnetic and has a sleek and sturdy packaging making it easy to carry around and use on the go our lovesick palette is the perfect way to show off your love for the emo genre and create some truly stunning looks at the same time i'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelid with the gerard cosmetics clean canvas primer in the shade fair light I know there's like controversy. I bought this before I knew any controversy and I intend on using it. A lot of people comment on my comment section about Jen Gerard and all that. I don't know the drama. I'm sorry. It's just there's not many primers that I enjoy in the market. I'm very picky. I have like kind of hooded eyes so I'm very picky with my eyeshadow primer. You guys I'm also excited. I got the Blend Bunny Omni Lash. I'm so excited to film like a short with it. I think I have some heart rhinestones. I do have little hearts. I have these cute, fun, like, nail charms. And in here, there are some hearts. So we can use that mixed with some beautiful rhinestones. Mixed with, um, what do I have in here? Cute little heart rhinestones. Perfect. I think I'm going to do the cutesy pink look first. And then we can play with, like, the more grungier color. I'm going to take a Sigma E25 and I'm going to dip into the shade called Worlds Apart. This is going to be like my crease shade, kind of leaving the inner, like this inner portion blank. I don't want to, I want to do something else there. Okay, and I'm going to build this up quite a bit and blend those edges as well because I want nice and soft edges. Taking a clean blending brush with nothing on it. We're just blending in that pink to be like a lighter pink. I really like the shade and it blended out really nicely and it did exactly what I wanted it to do on my eye. No issue. I want to take this shade called Three Last Words and I want to try to put that towards the inner portion. Hopefully it doesn't look bad. No, it looks really pretty actually. I love this light, like, purple with this pink. Really pretty. Taking that same Sigma E25, I'm going to dip into this shade called Letting Go. And I'm going to use this shade to deepen up the outer corner. Mixes with that pink so nice as well. Going back into the shade called Worlds Apart. And I'm just going to throw this on over top just to blend everything and make sure everything's really nicely blended. I'm going to use my next glitter primer and I'm going to tap this all over the empty space in my lid. 
I kind of want to leave a little bit of that purple showing. I don't want to cover it fully with sparkle. We'll see how it goes though. I'm going to take this pink duochrome called Falling For You. Oh, wow. I think this is a multi-chrome. <laughs> this is so pretty. This is so pretty. I really love this like color. It's so wet looking and it has so many different shades in this one color. It's stunning. It's so pretty. Very, very pretty. I love this look. It just needs to be cleaned up just a little bit, but it is stunning. I'm gonna jam it up with some gems and stuff. I'm using just regular lash glue. This is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. And I honestly don't know where I'm going to put them. I'm just going to kind of see how I'm feeling. I think I want, like, the heart to be, like, in the center, right? Like, it has to be the center of the look. And I've had these forever. I just, I've never used them. I think I got them at, like, some old dollar store type of thing. Oh, they're so cute. I'm a hater. I should have been using these. No idea where it stopped recording. So, here is my completed creation with the lovesick palette this is look number one and i added a little heart gem and two regular circular gems i think it's cute i think i should have chosen smaller gems than like the heart is small that the other gems kind of like don't help it look any bigger so all right so for look number two i'm gonna start with this shade called come back home on a glam light fluffy brush and this is going to be my crease shade, so I'm just going to pop this all over my lid. I'm just going to keep adding and blending the shade out until I'm happy with the outcome. This is like a mauve type of shade. It's It leans kind of neutral, but it still has like a pinky undertone to it, so I really... I think it's unique, actually. I feel like there's only one shade you can really use to deepen this look up, so I am going to take the shade letting go again just a little on the end just so like it's not so one-sided i want like another color in there i still want the looks to be different though so i'm not going to do the same type of shape i'm going to keep this one more rounded i also love how pigmented this shade is i find that the shade letting go it, it looks a little more grungier on this eye than it does on my first eye that I did and I feel like it's the matte that I put down and the fact that this light purple is in the inner corner it kind of like lightens up everything whereas here I'm not really doing that I'm literally I'm trying to make it kind of more grungy kind of darker I'm gonna take my NYX glitter primer and I'm going to add this all over my lid the first shimmer I want to take is called memories in this palette it's very pretty it's a very unique kind of shade actually like that's really pretty and it's gonna look really good with this deep berry shade called letting go so i'm just gonna put that right next to it because i know it's just gonna look so good we're just gonna blend that shimmer into the mattes with a brush the next shade i'm going to take is called love like winter oh my god this is so foiled and metallic oh my god <gasps> Oh my god, that is so pretty! I just don't think that it goes, but who cares? Oh jeez, I'm getting it everywhere. I think I'm gonna add the shade Fall For You in between these two colors. Just like that. <laughs> just so that, like, it kind of blends better, you know, between the two colors. I feel like they're really good at making shimmers that can do that. And I'm gonna go back into that blending brush. Where is it? I'm going to go back into that blending brush and back into that shade Come Back Home. And I'm just going to like make sure this is all nicely blended the way I like it. And then I guess we can add some like rhinestones or whatever. On both looks, I'm going to take the shade Goodnight Moon and I'm going to add that as an inner corner highlight. The shade is so pretty. It has like golden reflect in it and it's just really pretty with these colors really pretty i really like that actually i feel like we can use it as a highlighter as well right so we can differentiate the looks i like them i think they look very different even though i used the same shade to deepen it up i was like worried i was like it's gonna look weird it's gonna look like the same type of look it does not 
All right, here is look number two. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I love both of these, actually. I think they're both beautiful. And I'm going to complete the rest of my makeup. Make that short with the Blend Bunny Mascara, and I will be right back. All right, so I figured we should do some lower lash line eyeshadow. So the liners that I used, I used Amethyst Hour on this eye. It's more like pinky. And I used Crybaby on this eye from ColourPop, the Cream Gel Liners. And I'm going back into this palette. I'm so excited. I'm going to take the shade World Apart. And I'm going to use this on this eye. And I'm just going to run this on my lower lash line. Kind of mixing it with that liner. And then on this eye, I want to take the shade 3 Last Word and use it on this eye. I love it. It screams Valentine's Day. So it just it definitely needs mascara, lashes, or something. I will be right back. I'm sorry. I wanted to do one more thing. I want to take the shade Goodnight Moon and I want to use it to highlight. So I'm just going to dip my brush lightly in here that's actually it's so pretty let me do my nose with it too stunning i love this look at that it's so pretty i love how versatile that is i'm gonna take like a fluffy brush and kind of just kind of blend all that together all right i'm going to apply some mascara finish the rest of my makeup and i will be right back to talk about my final thoughts on this palette here are the final looks completed i'm obsessed i love them so what are my thoughts on the wicked widow beauty love sick palette for being an eight pan palette i feel like this is so beautiful for valentine's day i feel like you can create so many different cutesy and grungy looks with this palette i feel like you can definitely get two vibes with it the artwork of this palette is so so cute i love it so much the duo chromes and the Multi chromes in here are stunning. I want to say the multi chromes in here are Fall for You and Love Like Winter. Those are the two shades that just look incredible on the eyes. I think those are the multi chromes. I could be wrong. The shade Goodnight Moon is an excellent highlight and an excellent inner corner highlighter. It just looks so pretty on the cheeks. I love it so much. My favorite shades in the entire palette are Fall For You and Love Like Winter because they're so special. They sparkle in a way that's like so unique and so pretty and so special. And again, I can't wait to use this again during my ice cream beauty box unboxing i will definitely film two more looks with it because it is just that cute and that special so if you're interested in that stay tuned but yeah i love this palette this is such a good valentine's day palette i can't wait to use it on valentine's day and again tomorrow i'm gonna use this palette because it's just so cute and it's so easy to use and work with you don't have to worry about the formula not working or anything like it's it's foolproof I'm sad I didn't get the lip trio or the makeup bag, but I have to hold myself back sometimes. But yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Do you like this palette? Did you pick it up? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Let's have some fun, let's be to sick. This palette does retail for 36, but then I did a half. This collection also featured a lip, lip. Okay, fuck yeah, let's do this shit. I'm so fucking excited. I want it more bright, like more white so I don't look so warm for some reason. The light I have goes, it leans more yellow and I don't love that. Yeah, I use this lip oil so much I got a hair in it. Everything just looks so bright, I need to tone this down. It don't wanna come through for me. Come. Come. You wanna. Look, not you. Just for like added pizzazz? Yeah. So I'm gonna go in with 